is not high, the generating power will not be high. So how do you now have a good speed to enable you to have a good production? It's one of the things I'm going to talk about today in the area of speed. So be focused and also listen very carefully, watch the practicals and comments on the channel. Subscribe, share is part of the contribution you need to make to promote the channel. But so far so good, whatever you do, I appreciate. Now let's look at the, the subject matter, which is very important. What is a generator? When a generator, some of us know what it is. It is a system, it's a device that converts mechanical energy and a lot of energy into electrical, electrical energy. And it is a system that converts. When I mean convert is that you see when the generator is rotating, that is a mechanical form, then there is a, a device inside it which is the coil system that enables this uh, rotation to be converted into electrical form by the crushing and the 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 emitting of this magnetism. For some of us who do much on electrical aspects, we have none. We have much knowledge on this area. So this is how the energy is being produced. But let's go to an area which I want you to look at. The area of speed. First of all, before I do that, let me give you a brief emblem of general labyrinth system. So you will know about it because some my viewer asked me about some of the generator they need to go like this one i'm using now i'm using something like uh, ac asynchronous generator there are so many other generators in market some some can use hp whatever generator you want to choose to use is not it's not bad but most important is for you to have the good results if you to have the expected results it is very important the result you have is what Make a different if you buy a generator, consider the production capacity of a generator. For instance, like this one I'm using now, I'm using for example, I'm going to wash up, it's a 50 kVA capacity and it has the capacity to produce, as you can see it here. This is it here, it's a 50 kVA capacity generator system and it's a 230 volt system. So that is the ratio at which the generator can release voltage. That is why you see it here. This is the made of the generator. There are different types of generator. You can use most, uh, most the more ones to go to you. I've talked about that. I'm talking about the Apple system. I've talked about about 50 kV Apple system. Then the voltage discharge, which is the, the 230 volts here, very important. But the voltage discharge is only the ratio. You're talking about the, the ratio at which the generator can release the current. Because you know there are electronics that cannot accommodate more than a certain voltage system. Some electronics, if you put high voltage system, automatically you have caused a damage to that electronics. So that is why the ratio of the voltage system is very important. If you are buying generator, make sure this label you see here is you is well study before you pay, make a payment. You also talk about the copper wire. Let me show that what you are buying is hundred percent copper. Very important. Let what you are buying be hundred percent copper. Because if you buy something less than 100% copper, you may not have a expected output. You may have 50 kVA labeled, but you may not have 50 kVA output. I don't know you understand that. You may have 50 kVA labeled like something like this on your generator. You may have 25, you may have 10, you may have 5, but the output ratio may not be 50 kVA. The output ratio may not be 25 kVA. So, why because the copper the copper of the generator plays a vital role 
in genetic system. So we know what the copper is all about. For some of you who are who have who are in a, in this in a countries that have had to do with genetic system, like Africa, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're in the USA, which they are stable power supply, you may not have a good idea of what copper is all about. When subsequent time I'm going to discuss on the copper aspect so that some of you are in US or UK, Germany, you will know what the copper is all about. But when I talk about copper, it's just like a form of a, a, a wire, it's like a wire, a cable, but it's not it's not a cover, it's, it's just a naked cable which is where that transmit the current when the magnetism is crashed. So that is what I'm saying. Now if you see the area of the speed aspect, there is one thing you have to observe when you are buying generator. You look at the speed here, this is speed. In this place we have 1500 hertz rotation per minute. This is what you see are here is rotation, why this per minute. What does it mean to you? What it means is that this generator will run at the speed of 1500 before you count 60 seconds. Not 60 minutes. Before you count 60 seconds. This generator will run at the rate of 1500. So the speed ratio of the generator matters a lot because if the generator is if the speed ratio you are using is not in conformity with your uh, motor therefore you have an imbalance production system that is where most people have problem that is where most of my viewers who are not who are not following up where have problem so they, they will call me and say please i have to do some electric motor what do I use? I want to produce certain. What do I use? Yes, I may start to advise you, but your speed ratio must be very important. Your speed ratio is very important because if your speed ratio is of the generator is lower than you are that of electric motor, then your capacity, the capacity of the generator, will not be able to be of fullness. Yes, then we we'll talk about the face aspect. Which is what I'm saying. The first year it has to do with the connection ratio, which you're going to see here. We have two phase, we have three phase, we have one phase, and so it's all different. It just has to do with the connection. When you are going to buy the network, ask them what is the phase. The phase does not read has much to affect your design, but I mostly use one phase system, and I always advise to put one phase system because. The three phase system is when you're talking about a, when you're using the AV equipment. But if you're using it in your house, in your house, just to apply electronics and other things, I don't think you will need to go for three phase. I think three phase generator system should be mostly for industrial purposes because they have called the consumption ratio. So you need to release a very high voltage system. So this is area I want you to look at it very well because so you not go and, and buy three phase. Because somebody called me once at a time and asked me about the face aspect. Will I buy three face? Will I buy two face? Will I buy one face? I said, well, look at what you're going to use it for. Are you using it for industrial purpose? Are you using it for your house condition? If you're using it for industrial purpose, then you can go for three face. But if you're using it for house condition only, for your electronics powering and all this television, fridge, AC, I advise you to go for one face, which is what is here. Because it's for so that you will not end up destroying your electronics now let me go to the main aspect which is the the, the area of the practical you are going to see this is the electric motor here i've discussed about electric motor in one of my production and i told you about electric motion how it is what is the first electric motor what it does and i told you electric motor is the device that does the rotation, rotation of the system, it does not do anything apart from to rotate. And the electric motor is the brain behind the electric uh, free energy system. Just like the way the brain behind electric cars is the same way the brain behind electric energy system. So electric motor is the brain behind free energy system. So this electric motor is very important, very very useful. 
You cannot do flame system without electric motor. You cannot be able to produce free light without having electric motor. Electric motor is the brain behind. It is the one that rotated rotate the the generator to generate light. So this is what you see here. This is what you see here. The electric motor. Now let's watch. Let's see how this process is taking place. Now same. Now this is it. This is the this is the this is the flyway. I I I I I I, I discuss about flyway. Very important. This flyway. This is flyway. You see the flyway is very important in this project. But I'm going to do a project on flyway in first question time. The flyway is it helps to like store the energy. For instance, if you off the electric motor. The flyway is the only thing that can keep the energy into a, a, a system that is written because without the flyway, the energy will not be able to be able to be on constant stage. That is why it, when we talk about flyway store store energy, somebody asks how does the flyway store energy? Yes, the flyway store energy in the sense that if you if you is on a high speed, now you off the electric motor, the flyway will still keep the generator rotating for about minutes before it finally goes off. So the flyway is very important as long as free energy is concerned. Now you can see this generator, this generator, and you see now, you can see every about the generator is here. If you see, the, uh, if you see the, the, the system, this is the, the, the boris, the flyway that link to this aspect and it's very important because without all these things you never able to get the pressure you want so if it's, this is the, the flyway this is the bed that connects the, the generator to the other aspect and if you look very carefully you observe that this is how it been rotated as you can see the is going on now, now you can see it is on when it's on the generator now is out with a full speed. You can see the speed ratio of this now. See the speed ratio. You can see how fast it is. See how fast it is. Without, without it being on, we can see this kind of speed. See now. Now this is the cable that is in the light. Okay. This is the, the high speed. And fullness. This is the the flywheel that join. Let me show you something. This this is a flyway. This is a flyway. This flyway is joined to this flyway, and there is a bearings here, bearings, and this bearings is the one that enable this flyway here, which link to the electric motor in here to rotating. As you can see, this is an iron that cross over. So there's a bearings here and there's a bearings here. And then there's a bed. This bed connects to the motor and this one connects to this generator. That is to tell you that this is a, a interlink connection. So in this process now, you can see that the speed ratio is very high. That is why you see it moves in a very high speed because of the, the connection. So very, very important. Very important. Then you can see it now. You can see, you can see something here. You can, you can see something. Here. You see, you see the, this is this is the the gauge. See the, the ratio at is going is about to go to the end of the where uh, the of the meter to, to show you that the generator is really in a very high uh, pressure rate. Where, where, where did it take place? Now you see this is the this is the this 
the fan the stand the fan you see that it's you know a very high speed it's written very high you can see the sending from there showing full voltage vision. That is a, the wedding machine that is being cut to tell us the thing is the high speed. It can you can use it to cut to cut any object. This at the man is a cutter, but is, you can see it now. This is a cutter. See that is it. Very very in very high speed. You can cut each one that you see now. This is a cutter system. See it now. And, and you can see you can hear the sound very high. And this is the cutter. This you can use it to cut iron because the voltage of the of the of the motor is very high. And it does not affect it now. You can see. You can look at what is happening now. You can see it now. It's, it's, it's being used to to clean the place, but still the fan is still on. You can see the fan now. is still on. It does not affect the speed of the fan. So this to tell you, many of you will say, ah, what up? if you plug this, you plug that, you use the speed. I'm telling you, it's not about it's not about what you plug. It's about the speed of the motor. If the motor is also in the high speed, you don't have, have any problem. It's only when the speed is not high that you cannot have a problem in the output. Now you can see the meter. What? Indicating. So it's not it's not having any problem. The meter is indicating the value to show the indication of the of the pressure issue of the generator. And I see it now. So the meter the the output issue. I see it here. I see it here. See it here. See it, see it here. Why? Remember the the the, the wedding is still going on. The, the, it does not affect now. Look at look at the indicator. The the version you see. The the generator the wedding machine is on. The cutter machine is on. But look at the meter. Look at the meter. What is indicating? That's zero point three one. Zero point two. To tell that it is not it is not the the that is when it it affected the 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 output. But if the speed is high, the speed, if the speed is high, it does not affect anything in that system. Just then. So it does not see. This is the right information. Speed is still okay, and you can you can you can now see when I have told you that it does not affect the speed. Everything is working perfectly. So thank you for watching, and once again let me go.